Fairfax County Schools back in the spotlight again, this time for the school board's approval of controversial changes to expand punishment for students for what they describe as malicious misgendering and dead naming. The changes in the Students' Rights and Responsibilities Handbook passed with an 8-4 to four vote, now making it possible for students as young as fourth grade to be suspended for calling a classmate by the wrong gender, even if it's not intentional. Joining us now to discuss is a former teacher in the county and concerned mom, Deborah Tisler. Deborah, welcome to National Report. This is kind of an uh, interesting story. I don't think we've heard this before in other school districts across the country. Can you explain what students are really facing here? They're facing um, a complete truncation of their rights to freedom of speech, freedom of religion. At this point, these children haven't been taught truly at this young age what a pronoun actually is. So to hold them responsible for these actions is completely absurd. Hmm. So again, it would be, you know, calling someone by their different pronoun or not the ones that they wanted to use. Is that right? Even if it's on accident? Exactly. Exactly. They could face punishments for using the wrong pronoun, for calling them by the wrong gender. Um, and, you know, gender is as you know, these uh, school board members are saying is fluid. So, you know, little children could be changing their minds at any moment on this issue. And how can little kids be expected to keep up with this? It's completely developmentally inappropriate. And this school board, school board is using our tax dollars to radicalize um, and to push forward their agenda. All right, let's take a closer look at the student handbook here uh, because they kind of lay this out again. This is approved by the school board, by the way. It says, under discriminatory harassment, examples of discriminatory harassment include epithets, various slurs such as racial, dead naming, misgendering, negative stereotyping, jokes, written, printed, or graphic material that contains offensive, demeaning, or degrading images or comments. Discriminatory harassment may create an intimidating or offensive learning environment that interferes with a student's education and or academic performance. For clarification for our viewers here, uh, dead naming is when someone intentionally or not refers to a person who's transgender or gender expansive by a name other than their new chosen name. So a little confusing, but I, I think we clarified that as best as we could there. Um, Deborah, you know, is this a, a problem that you're seeing in the schools? Are students intentionally trying to to hurt other students by using different names or different pronouns? No, they're not. And again, I feel that this is just another platform for our school board to sensationalize, sensationalize their radical agenda. When there are other areas that they truly need to be focusing on, like the pandemic of Ill illiteracy and learning loss that is not being addressed by the school board and they're not funding it to capacity and following up. So it just goes to show what their true intentions are and they need to remember that their actions speak louder than words. And again, this now applies to fourth graders and above, young, young kids. Um, and Facing suspension, is that a possible outcome? It is, yes, it is a possible outcome. Right. And along with, you know, they could be graded down on their areas of communication according to the standards. If they do not agree to follow along with this policy, they could actually have their grades lowered. Okay, very interesting. Again, that coming out of the Fairfax County School Board there happens to fall on a primary day in Virginia. So we will be watching and awaiting those results as well. We know parents have gotten involved and they wanted to have their voices heard. Deborah Tisler joining us this morning. Thank you, Deborah. Appreciate the conversation. Yeah.